DPP presidential candidate Lai Qingde has reacted to Monday's meeting between the chairs of the KMT and Taiwan's People's Party. The two opposition parties agreed on several issues, notably that they will join forces in the legislative elections. Speaking to reporters on Tuesday, Lai dismissed the election alliance as, quote, hollow. He said the two parties were teaming up because, quote, neither side aligns with mainstream public opinion. Lai said that the KMT and TPP's joint activities will have no impact on his campaign decisions. The executive board meeting of the Associations of Star Alliance pilots met on Tuesday with Vice President Lai Qingde in attendance. As the elections draw near, Lai is juggling campaign events with his official duties. When asked about recent talks between the KMT and Taiwan People's Party, Lai appeared unfazed. The reason the KMT and TPP are negotiating an alliance is because neither side aligns with mainstream public opinion in Taiwan. It's like two minor enemies banding together to fight a larger enemy. The consensus they reached yesterday can be summed up in one word, hollow. It will have no bearing on my future campaign activities. Lai dismissed the talks between the TPP and KMT. He pointed to one of the four points the parties agreed on, to ask the president to report to the legislative union directly instead of through the premier. Lai says the law already allows parliament to request a presidential report. Article 4 of the additional articles of the Constitution of the Republic of China already states that while the legislative yuan is in session, it may hear a report on the state of the nation by the president. So if the legislative yuan were to invite the president over, of course I would accept the invitation and go to the legislative yuan. The reason why previous presidents have not delivered such reports at the legislative yuan is because cross-party negotiations have never been able to reach a consensus on it. The legislative yuan has never issued an invitation to a sitting president. Lai also criticized TPP candidate Ko Wenzhe, who claimed that former Minister of Agriculture Chen Ji-jung squandered money on creating an insurance program for farmers. Lai says Ko is pointing fingers at the wrong person. Had Ko Wenzhe not brought it up, people wouldn't have realized how little he knows about state affairs. He's mixing up farmers' insurance with agricultural insurance. It just goes to show the lack of concern he has for farmers and his lack of support for the agricultural sector. Judging from Ko's tone, does he want to do away with agricultural insurance or does he want to do away with farmers' insurance? He should clarify his position to the public. Lai asked Ko to make his stance clear. With the election approaching, the candidates are ramping up the rhetoric, charging up the atmosphere of the presidential race.